Hello everyone, welcome to Little Barry Pro. I am Sherry Barker One and this is EA Games, where I teach you guys how to make real life versions of food from video games. Today we are going to make the key lime pie from The Sims 3 and here is what you'll need. For the crust, you are going to need some ground ginger, sugar, digestives or graham crackers, I'm using 100 grams, butter, since I don't know if I'm going to have enough, I will substitute the rest with margarine. And then for your pie filling, you are going to need some condensed milk. I'm using evaporated filled milk. Some lime juice. I am using imitation lime juice. Sorry about the blur. Lime zest. Using one lime for that. And four egg yolks. And then finally, for your garnish, you are going to need lime jelly. One lime to cut into lime slices, five of them to be exact. And you can make your own icing or whipped cream, but I'm just using canned canned cake icing. So that's all you'll need, and let's get started. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius and place the baking tray aside. Grease and line your pie dish and set aside, which I really don't need to, but I did preheat my oven. So the first thing you want to do is combine your crush digestives, in this case graham crackers, your ginger, your sugar, and your butter. Which that is two cups of graham crackers, two tablespoons of ground ginger, a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar, and 135 grams of butter melted. And mix that up till. Looking at my mother for advice. Mix it up until your graham crackers and everything are completely moistened. Until your graham crackers are completely moistened. Because you want After you've mixed your graham cracker mixture to the point where it's all moistened and that it presses into itself. Place it into your pie dish that you have greased. As much as you can. <clears throat> and then press it evenly into the pie dish. Then make sure you get the sides. Okay. Make sure you get the sides. Like I said, you want it to look like a pie crust. And you want it to look like a pie crust. After you have pressed evenly, put it in the preheated oven on top of the baking dish. Tray. Keep doing forgetting that. After baking the crust for about 10 to 15 minutes, set aside on that thingy to let it cool. Um, turn any fan you have on in the kitchen to let it cool down faster. Dog. After your pie crust has cooled 
and cleaning your mixing bowl, pour in your four egg yolks. And mix that till it is pale and fluffy. And then after your eggs have become pale and fluffy, gradually pour in one and three fourths cups of condensed milk. Gradually pour in while mixing or whisking or whatever you're doing. After you do that, pour in your six tablespoons of lime juice. And then your two tablespoons of lime zest. And then mix that, mix well. And then you're going to pour this into your pie crust. Go ahead and turn the oven back on. Turn your oven back on to 350. And then put the baking tray back in. Uh, you can put it all in at one time. Or just put it all in one time. The pants cool. Huh? Hmm? The pants cool. Oh, yeah. And then just put it in the. And be careful so you don't smell it. I'm trying. You're the one that told me. Okay, so ours took quite a while for it to set, so. Just do it till, you know, it's not really jiggling anymore. And let it cool completely before putting this in the fridge. I am going to put mine overnight. And, yeah. So after you have let your mixture chill completely, you are going to fix your lime jelly according to the package directions. After your gelatin or jello mixture has become lukewarm, you are going to um, pour it over your pie just enough to where it covers the filling. And I'm just using a spoon to control how much I put in there. And then if you want for presentation purposes, just carefully take out the foam or white lines that you see which I will be doing because I will be taking a picture of this and posting it on DeviantArt, which that looks about right. And then you were going to put this in the refrigerator till the gelatin has set. 
After your jello has set, you are going to cut five quarter lime slices to put on top of it and garnish. And after you did that, you are first going to do your whipped cream or in my case cake icing. I will be using the star tip. Just screw it on there. And then you're going to do this around the rim of the pie. Not cake. This is a cake. This is kind of hard to do. I'm just going to let it do its own pattern. Like I said, this is kind of hard to do. Just do that side. Okay. Clean up that edge. And then you're going to do a dollop in the middle. And then you are just going to put slices like that just like a star and that is your completed one pile. Let me just put a little bit more cake icing right there. There we go. And that's it.